All right, the next beer I'm going to review tonight <laughs> is Four Peaks Kilt Lifter. This is a personal favorite of mine. This is the motherfucker of all beers. I love this shit. I go out all the time and get this off draft. This is brewed down here where I'm from. It's uh, brewed in Tempe, Arizona. It's real, real good. Scottish style ale. It's real strong. Strong. Like two of them. You're rolling. And that's why they say brewed by men in kilts or whatever. I don't know what that means. I guess that means if you drink enough of it, uh, you want to show your cock to people. I don't know. It's really fucking good. So, let's get this pour going here. Alright. Get my Amstel glass. Clean. I cleaned it so I could taste the flavor. But I did. I did. As you can see, it's a bit darker. It's a Scottish style ale. And it's got like a kind of like a caramely taste to it. So it's like drinking a Rolo, which is good candy. If you haven't had Rolos, check out my candy reviewing page. It's not up yet, but it's coming. Cause I need an excuse to keep eating candy too. So let's give this a try. Yeah, it's definitely got a bold, bold kind of caramel taste. Not much of a head on it poured out of the bottle. I've only ever got it off giraffe. And usually there's a real good head on it. So I don't know if that's something to do with my glass or the fact that I'm drinking out of the bottle. But I mean, it still translates just as well with taste. It's just, it doesn't really have that head that really rides all the way down, which is what you want in a real good beer. So I'm told. But I know what I want in a good beer. I want it to taste good and make me feel good. This does both. So. I mean, Victoria can even vouch for it. The Victoria Hoffman, he can't lift me. <laughs> I'm getting a divorce. Once I get married, I'm getting a divorce. You saw the reaction. Kilt lifter. Good. Just wanted to throw in one more thing. I really, really recommend this beer. Out of all the shit I'll drink and half-heartedly review and tell you, oh, this is what it tastes like, this is how it is. This is honestly something I do strongly recommend. So if you can get your hands on it at like a Total Wine or wherever you get craft beers in your area, I really recommend it. Four Peaks Brewing Company. They're really, really bringing out some good stuff. I'm going to actually try their 8th Street Ale probably later tonight. And, uh, yeah, this is, this is the cat's meow. This is the real shit. So if you really like beer, I mean, I can't stress enough. It's not too dark. It's not like a porter or a stout. It's not quite as light like a Belgian white or like an ale. But it's, yeah, it's a, you know, it's a Scottish style ale. It's a darker beer. It's a man's beer. It's real, real, real good. Brewed by men, for men. Four Peaks Brewing, Tempe, Arizona. Real good shit. So, cheers.